have in this demonstration is a cart and a long rod, and at the top of the rod is an electromagnet. And there's a ball that is connected to that electromagnet. They also have a trigger positioned along the track at this position. When the cart gets to that trigger, it will trigger a signal to that electromagnet to drop the ball. And of course the ball falls down, and most of the time lands in the cart, and oftentimes bounces up. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to give the cart a push so that the cart's moving along at a constant speed when it gets to this position. The ball will drop, and the question is, where will the ball land? Will it land in front of the cart, in the cart, or behind the cart? Let's give it a try. Just as expected, the ball lands in the cart. It lands in the cart because once the ball is released, it moves as a projectile. And like any projectile, while it's falling, it maintains a constant horizontal speed. Just like the cart, there's no horizontal acceleration. And because there is no horizontal acceleration, both the cart and the ball will at all times have the same horizontal position. The only difference between the two objects is that the ball will be accelerating vertically downwards. So when the cart, when the ball finally gets to cart level, it will land exactly in the cart. And that's physics for you.